the show that airs and tapes in the middle of the night when you should be sleeping and you're not, and also hopes to address potential health concerns, risks, and exposures before it's too late. So tonight we're going to do an ever-popular segment called, What's Up in Your Mouth? Just kidding. There is no popular segment called that. But we are going to go out and ask the public and find out what they know about amalgam dental fillings. Do they have them? Do they have health concerns with them? Did they know they contain mercury? And if so, does that bother them? So let's go take a look at those clips. Do you have any fillings? Uh -huh. What types of fillings? I don't know. Are they white or are they silver? Um, I think they're silver. Do you have any dental fillings? I do. Do you know what kind they are? I have... No, I don't. What color are they? So, is amalgam the white one? <laughs> Do you have any fillings? I have one filling. Do you know what type of filling it is? I believe it's amal amalgam. Amalgam? Dental amalgam? Dental Amalgam? <laughs> it's a, what color is it? Um, I believe it's black. Sadly, I do. Do you know are they amalgam? I have no idea. What color is it? I think it's clear. Do you want to check? Do you want to look at it? <laughs> so if I told you um, there was mercury in amalgam fillings, would you be surprised? I would. I did not know that. With that knowledge, would you think you might want to talk to your dentist about having it removed? I would absolutely have that conversation. Have you ever heard of mercury poisoning? <laughs> Do you think you could potentially get it from amalgam fillings? Probably not. If I told you that amalgam dental fillings contain mercury, would that surprise you? No. Did you know that? No. And so what sort of other sources might you use to get information on amalgam dental fillings if you worked at your dentist? Well, I um, would I am a steward of the internet, so I would likely go out there and then want to call a funeral home likely after realizing <laughs> that mercury will kill me. But no, that's probably where I, where I would go, where I would consult other dentists. All right, do you trust the Environmental Protection Agency? Um, I think so. I've never really read, I'm not sure I've read much of it, but what about so. the American Dental Association? Yeah. What about the World Health Organization? Big fan. Those were a lot of great questions, but we need some answers. Now Megan's going to go ask an expert and get some answers to our questions. That's why I put on my lab coat. Okay. Do you go to the dentist? Every day I am a dentist. Are you concerned that some dental fillings have mercury in them? No, the mercury that's in there combines with the other metals in a filling and it's very safe. Should amalgam dental fillings be removed? The only time you should ever remove a filling is if you have a cavity underneath. And where can people get great information about amalgam fillings and if they should be removed? Um, the Im Environmental Protection Agency has a website, the American Dental Association, the National Institutes of Health. I just personally carry this around so <laughs> that I can provide information to people who have questions about dental amalgam fillings. Awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And having a cavity is like, it's like a hole in the universe and getting a filling is like having that big hole filled up again with love. Instead of going to the dentist, I would rather do just about anything, but going to the dentist is important. Perfect. Do you have a favorite um, scary dental movie? Uh, Marathon Man. What would you feel like if the planet Mercury disappeared? <laughs> I would have no clue. <laughs> what would happen if you were to fall in a pot of mercury? I don't know. But I'm worried about it. Well, thank you so much for your time today. It's my pleasure. In answering our questions on the bottom of the You bet. My pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Angus. <laughs>
Thank you.